And now I actually get to talk about Michigan football outside of SignGate. And if you're in up there typing away, your, your team cheated, your team cheated, I see it. It's in the comments. You're not saying anything different. You're not saying anything I haven't already seen. And you're just another internet buffoon. So good for you. Michigan is one of the most efficient offenses in the country. And I think that's what makes a difference in this game. I'm just going to lay it out there. They're second and third down conversion. They have the fewest penalties of any team, even more so than the service academies. They have the fewest penalties, and they average still, despite run game struggles in recent games, they're still averaging over 4.5 yards per carry. I think the interesting matchup in this game, though, is that Penn State has a number one run defense. So my question is, can Michigan run the ball just good enough to keep it a threat in this game against Penn State that the play-action passes actually work? Because J.J. McCarthy on play-action passes is something like 82% in terms of completion percentage, and he's throwing for like an average of like 10 or 11 yards per completion. That's a first down nearly every time you call a play-action pass. Eight out of ten times you call a play-action pass. If you're Michigan right now, you're getting a first down. That's a drive sustaining, and that's scoring in the red zone kind of offense. Interestingly enough, Penn State, we saw this last year. Penn State came into the game last year with the number one defense in the country in terms of run defense, and what did Michigan do? They put like 425 yards of rushing on that defense. The really interesting thing, I think, is Penn State, in terms of recruiting, in terms of scouting, and in terms of development over the last few years, what have they tried to do? They've tried to model the Ohio State model. They want fast, athletic bodies on their defense. But the problem with that is that means you're undersized and you're overwhelmed whenever you face a team like Michigan. In college football, styles make fights. And I think this is just another case. James Franklin, by the way, is 3-6 and six against Michigan, and he's bad even against the spread against Michigan. I think this one has about a four and a half or five point line right now. It was as high as six and a half or seven, and it's been as low as like three and a half. I think a lot of that has to do with the sign gate thing, and people are wondering if Jim Harbaugh is going to be coaching on the sidelines. I'm going to call it right now. I don't think it matters if Jim Harbaugh is there or not. I think this team is focused. Michigan's one of the more experienced teams in the country, by the way. It's going to just come down to J.J. McCarthy. I think he's the X factor in this game. Because all other things are relatively equal, too. Michigan themselves rank high in nearly every defensive category. They've got one of the highest scoring defenses in the entire country. They have the third most defensive touchdowns in the country. And what did we see in that Ohio State game? Drew Aller struggled mightily. He might throw a couple picks in this game while J.J. McCarthy is having another day. My Bold prediction for the week, by the way, is that Michigan is going to cover, and they're going to cover going away. I got Michigan 27-10 to 10 in this game. 